I tried this simple trick for my gown making and it changed the game of my gown from a 0 to 10, making the back to look well contoured and seamless even if there was no half length or half cut as other some people may know it. If you would love to learn that trick, please subscribe to my channel and let's get started. You are highly welcome back to my channel great fashionistas i hope you get value for what you learn here so because i would love this video to be more in depth we are going to be drafting the front pattern and the back pattern so you are going to impute your bust point measurement your under bust point measurement your waistline or your half length as in the waistline of your front remember the, that the front waistline is different from the back waistline then also you are going to impute the distance between your waist to your hip for some people it can be eight inches but for people that has bigger hip i would advise you make use of nine or ten inches you might be looking like this thing is looking small i am making use of a small dress form measurement but it is still the accurate thing i'm going to explain to you then also impute your gown length and rule everything out so before we go further we are going to be doing some little contouring measurement for our hip area so the round hip i'm making use of is 38 inches 38 divided by 2 will give me 19 inches so when we share it into two that is the front hip is 19 and the back hip is 19 inches so we're going to remove one inch from the front hip and give it to the back hip so that way the front hip is now 18 inches while the back hip is 20 inches remember that our patterns are always on fold so if you divide the front hip by two it will give me 9 inches and if i divide the back hip by 2 it will give me 10 inches so automatically half of the front hip is 9 inches and half of the back hip is 10 inches this is called butt contouring as in the bum bum area the hip area the contouring so naturally that are the things we are going to make use of to impute our body measurement now i am going to divide my shoulder by 2 and impute it then i'm going to just make use of a basic neckline here you can impute any neckline of your choice for my shoulder slope i'll come down by one inch and i will slope it into my neckline remember i said i'm making use of a miniature measurement but it is still body measurement but in form of a small body form so it is still the same thing now you divide your bust by six and add 1.5 inches to it to get your arm hole length and to get a perfect line you are going to Impute your shoulder measurement divided by 2 on that point and rule it together so that the, the line can be straight. So now for the armhole curve, you divide your bust into 4 and you impute it and connect it to the armhole length. Then for the other part of the armhole curve, divide your armhole length into 2. Then from that point, come in by half inch. Using your straight ruler, connect it to your shoulder slope and using your curve ruler, connect it into the bust point divided by 4 and your ammo curve is ready like so to impute the dart you are going to divide your ball span into two that's your nipple to nipple measurement then you impute half of it from the center front like so so you are going to impute it on the boss point the under boss point the waistline and the hip line that is on the four lines like so and you connect everything together like so so the next thing now you have to do is to impute your dart and to get your dart intake you can make use of one inch 1.5 inches or two inches then to know how long your dart is going to be on from the waist to the hip area you can either measure five inches from your waist down or from that hip line you come up by two inches so that you can know how deep your dart will go or you should divide your hip by seven this trick all these three type of trick work so you can know how long your dart will be then on the boss point, you are going to come down by one inch. So after that, you, after you've marked those points, you will impute your dart intake that you wish to make use of. You divide into two and share it on both sides. Then into those marks that I said the dart length will go, you are going to connect your dart together like so. As in into the from the boss point to the waistline, then from the waistline to the hip line. Then after that, you are going to divide your bust by four and impute it. You will divide your waist by four and impute it. Then whatever the dart intake you made use of, you return it back to avoid shortage on the waist area. Please remember to return it back. Then on the hip area, do you remember the front hip measurement we calculated? So that's what you are just going to impute directly. You don't have to do any calculation, just impute it directly. 
So whatever your own result is, input it directly on your e-point and connect together. Make sure that your e-point is not too sharp. Make sure that you, you make use of your curve ruler in the proper way. Then to know what your knee measurement, your round knee will be, whatever you get from your front hip, deduct one inch from it. If you want your gown to be very pencil, make use of 1.5 inch. But I'll tell you the truth, one inch is very, very okay. It's very okay to give you the comfort you deserve. Then after, we are going to impute the boss dart. And to get the boss dart, it is your front half length minus your back half length. Whatever you get, it is what you make use in imputing your boss dart. Then you impute it from your bust line and connect it straight into your bust point. And there is the bust dart. So if you don't know how to take proper body measurements, I have a detailed video on that. I will drop it up here in the link and in the description box. So our pattern is set. Now we are going to be closing one of the darts and we will transfer it to the other part. So I'm going to slash open the bust dart and I also open the pattern at the half length area, the waist area. So the first method is that you can do it this way or you should do it this, the way any method that works for you in transferring your pattern. You can even separate the lower part from the upper bodies like the skirt part from the upper bodies in case if you want to use it to achieve something else like a design or anything. Or you can even close it like this way that I am doing whereby I am closing the waist that and automatically transferring to the boss that anything that you wish to do it doesn't affect so any how that works for you make sure that you just get your measurements right and you close the pattern very well it will still align with the back pattern and even if it's like this that you want to do it it will still align with the back pattern you are going to sit at the end of the video so this is one of the ways you can transfer your waist that to your boss that like this by the time you transfer this pattern to your fabric all you need to do is to notch the open point and the point at which your boss that starts from at your boss point those two points that's what you will notch on your fabric and you will sew it to your boss point this way to give your body a beautiful well contoured front shape now we are going to be drafting the back pattern so here is a pattern i'm already working on these are basic things you need to impute on your back pattern starting from the neckline and half of your shoulder measurement your shoulder slope your arm length and your arm curve where your arm length stops at is the chest line i have a lot of videos on this so it's because i just want us to go straight to the point to save us time so from the starting line i'm just going to input my back half length remember that if you take your body measurements well your front half length is different from your back half length then to get your hip line from your waistline you are going to impute the hip line you make use of in the front that is the distance between your waist to your hip whatever you use for the front you impute it then for the length of the gown you are going to measure the distance between your waist to your gown at the front pattern as in the one you use at your front pattern so whatever you measure there is what you will impute at this back pattern so that it will make everything to align remember that your front pattern will be a little bit longer than the back pattern is until you close the boss that before they can align together so for people who are always worried on how to blend in boss that when they are making gown this is how to go about it the next thing to do now is to contour the back zipper so you can make use of either 1 inch or 0.75 inch. So I'm going to be making use of 1 inch to contour the zipper. And making use of my ruler, I'll connect it straight into my hip line like so. And on the upper part from my waistline, I'll connect it up. But I'll make sure it doesn't get into the neckline. So this way, it will help you to snatch the back zipper. So out of the three that I was talking about, this is the first that we've taken. So we have two darts left that we are going to be imputing on the back pattern. So from this new line, as in the line that the contouring starts from, I will impute my nipple to nipple measurement divided by 2. And I will add half inch to it. The reason why we always add the half inch is so that when you sew the darts, there won't be any shortage. It won't look like it's more getting more tiny. It will just be the exact inch you need. Then after that, I'll be taking the dart of 1 inch. And I will share it on both sides. That is half half inches. So I'll connect it straight to the chest line and also into the hip line. This will help to remove any gaping around the upper chest area as in your backbone. And it will also help you to give your bum bum area a beautiful contouring on that area. Then after that, I am going to be imputing my body measurement. So I'll divide my boss divide by 4 and impute it. Starting from that new zipper line that we did our contouring at. 
same thing i will divide my waist divide by four and impute it and i'll also return the one inch that and connect it but on the hip area all i need to do is to use the hip that we've calculated earlier in this video so i'll just impute whatever my result was and that we connect everything like so you can see that there is this beautiful shape that it is giving already on the pattern so to get your knee measurement like your round knee measurement on your length area you are going to subtract one inch from your back hip measurement so whatever you got from that back hip remove one inch from it but don't just impute it directly like that we have to contour the bum area so from that one inch you wanted to subtract first impute half inch like so so first impute that half inch then using your ruler connect it into the hip area like so so that way the butt has been contoured so when you subtract one inch whatever you got from that your hip measurement after you subtracted one inch then you now impute it and you use your curve ruler to connect it to the hip area like so so this way it will help your zip area to be contoured it will give you this beautiful butt design so now we have eliminated the zipper bulge and we've also imputed the second dart so we have to impute the third dart this dart help you to let the zipper to sit around the waist area you notice that on the waist area there's this kind of depth like there's this deep little deep line on the waist area so even if you contour your zipper you still need to take this dart so that it will sit well on the waist area and what is the dart about from the waistline on the upper bodies you will take one inch but on the lower bodies that goes to the skirt you take half inch that is one and a half inch you can do half half inch that is one inch you can do one one inch for people that has big bomb that's two inches but i made it of 1.5 inch here in this video then you connect it straight into the side waist after you've done that you will try to close the dart if it's not easy to close you can slash it first then you close it so this way you have eliminated any bulge that might want to occur if you do not have the mind to do 1.5 inch you can start with half inch that's half inch on the upper side and half inch on the lower side then you will blend it so after you've done that you have to use your cell tape to close it because we do not need it anymore then you will reblend any line that has shifted so by the time you do this naturally your dart would have shift as in your waist dart so all you need to do is that using the that line that that line on the hip area as a guide you rule it again to your upper bodies and you reconnect your that it is easy to get all you need to do is practice if you don't understand what i am explaining please ask in the comment section or you should rewatch the video that way you'll be able to understand what i am explaining this is not hard at all now i'm going to be cutting out the pattern you can choose to add your sewing allowance first before you cut it out so i'm just going to be cutting out everything please remember to label your pattern so that you don't get confused now i'll set it aside so i can cut the front pattern so i'm so sorry i have cut this part you are meant to align your bust that like so first there, sometimes there are always some little shift then you will throw it with your pencil before cutting so in case if you follow this tutorial before realizing that just place a pattern paper underneath and throw it again so now i've cut out my front pattern so i want you to just see the end result so you can know that what i am drafting here is okay i'll close this boss that like so the only time you can close your boss that is after you have finished sewing the dart the boss that but i have to use my tape to close it so you can see by the time i place the side back and the side front together you can see that they will align together so this is me trying to place the side back and the side front together look at the way i am trying to arrange one by one you can see they aligned well on the length area everything aligned perfectly well and trust me by the time you sew this everything will blend well into your body so as i've said earlier the front pattern you can play around it you don't have to shift the waist that to the boss that like so you can even cut off the half length you can do anything but you can leave your back like this especially for people that they like contouring their back without adding half length this is the method so by the time you close your dart everything will shape well on the body of your self on your body or on the body of your client and even someone that does not have bomb it will give you this kind of illusion it will give you this beautiful shape anything it will just make it presentable so i hope you learned something new from this video please subscribe to my channel and see you in my next video till then keep winning